Hey, welcome back to episode three of the 7X Bookshelf. I'm your host, Matt Barnett, and today we're looking at some shelves that may have more than just books on them. And before we jump in, I just want to say congratulations to last week's winner, Brian Fisher, who won the hash cracking password cracking manual. Um, Brian had actually hit me up out of band and expressed a pretty good interest in this and, and being one of my former interns and the first to comment on the channel, I thought this was a good one for him. So Brian, coming to you, hope you enjoy it. All right, so Obviously, it would be silly to expect a hacker to only have books on their bookshelf. And once we get past those books, we've got a whole bunch of gear. And today, we're gonna talk about the Keezy. So the Keezy is a remote control, or looks like a remote control, but it's actually an RFID cloner, duplicator, and reuser. What's cool about this is that it is not just inconspicuous, but it also has the ability to clone a number of cards in the 125 kilohertz range. Uh, this is a, a great tool for most physical penetration testers that are able to get access to a badge and just need to make a quick copy of it. Let's assume that you show up there as a visitor, ask to borrow a badge to go to the bathroom. While you're in the bathroom, you use this little device to make a quick copy, return the key to the receptionist, and come back later with your cloned key and you can basically let yourself in. Let's take a look inside the box and let's see what we get. All right, so inside the box, you have the actual Keezy cloner, a sample key to test, and instructions for how to use it. So the Keezy is remarkably easy to use. All you need to do, grab the key that you want to clone, place the Keezy over top of it, and press the button for six seconds. Unfortunately, the batteries appear to be dead, so let's fix that. Okay, so found batteries in the spare. Good news for us, all of my gear is laid out, so it's fairly trivial to get to a screwdriver. You know, when Ryan said this would be a cool one to give a demo of, I don't think he had changing the batteries up for it in mind. All right, so we just take the key card that we want to copy. We press and hold the button we wish to assign that to on the keypad. Once it starts to blink red, it's ready to accept a card. We center this card over top of the Keezy and wait for a green light. There we go. Once the light turns green, we can then activate this card by pushing the, that button on the key fob at the reader and it should open the door. Now for as many tools and gadgets as I have laying around the studio, I do not have an RFID door set up yet. Just stay tuned for another video on that. Um, so I can't actually show you that this works, but take our word for it, I've used it on a ton of penetration tests. It's incredibly useful, great for cloning badges. And even if you're not on a physical pen test, um, if you're showing up at a client engagement and they give you a visitor badge, which invariably they only have one and there's two consultants, one of you can just make a copy of it and now you both have a badge for the day. All right, so that's gonna do it for me. Hopefully you guys found this video quick and easy, just like a Keezy. It's not their slogan, is it? All right, we've got a lot of great content here on this channel, including additional items off of the bookshelf, more tutorials and hacking. So make sure you stick around, subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates as soon as they're released. I'll leave a link in the description below for how to get your hands on one of these. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. All right, that'll do it for me. See you on the next one.